Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for my 37 week bump date. And as you can see, I have a little guest joining me eating a popsicle. This is my three year old daughter, Kaya, and she'll be joining me for today. Let's hop on into what's been going down this last week. <laughs> So as I sit here today, you guys, I am currently 38 weeks pregnant, so I have gone through the entire week of 37, and I will say this, 37 weeks has been a rough one. For me, I can tell that my body is doing what it's supposed to be doing this time around, and it is prepping for labor. I am going to stick a little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning of this video here, just to let you know that this is going to be a TMI video. You guys, I'm 37 weeks pregnant, there's a lot of stuff happening, and unfortunately, the things that are happening are um, TMI. So. If you're not interested in the TMI information of being pregnant, go ahead and skip to the end of this video. I will not be offended where you can see my bump date and hear about my future videos coming out. 37 week appointment, I found out that I am one centimeter dilated. So I went to not having any dilation at all at my 36 week appointment to having made a little bit of progress by my 37 week my 37 week um, appointment. So my cervix is very soft. Um, it is like earlobe consistency, which again, I'm so sorry, TMI, uh, but means it's ready to start dilating on its own and it has. I lost a little bit of my mucus plug this last week, um, but my doctor said that it can regenerate. So I don't know if that means that labor is near or that um, it could be another couple of weeks. I'm not, I'm not sure what exactly that means, but I do know that I have really been cramping you guys, and I don't know if that's just because I'm dilating, um, thinning, effacing, I don't know what's going on, but I've been really crampy, really crampy as in like menstrual cramps, going down, like really down low, like below the belly, like really in my pelvis, it's just been this like aching, throbbing menstrual pain, and I feel like things are happening. I have another appointment on Tuesday, which is technically my 38 week appointment. Um, and I'm excited to see if I've dilated any more. My doctor did let me know at this appointment that um, I have two more appointments. So my one on Tuesday and currently it is Sunday and I'll be uploading this for you guys um, to be live tomorrow morning, so Monday morning. So tomorrow, as of tomorrow, um, for you guys, I will be heading into the doctor to see if I've made any progress. And I'm then I have- I'm going to the doctor too. Yeah, are you gonna go to the doctor too? Yeah, and then I have one last appointment after that Thursday January 24th in the afternoon um, I will go in and I'll see him and um, If I'm not yet in labor or not yet had my baby I will be um, going in for an elective induction this time. All right other symptoms that have been going on this week um, <laughs> I've been trying to think of other things besides TMI information and all I can think about you guys is just like these TMI things that have been going on. The end of pregnancy can be really gross so it's just that's what it is, TMI. Week 37, my CM, my cervical mucus, did pick up quite a bit, pretty gross, but from what I understand, it is my body's way of getting ready for labor. So there's just been a lot of fluid going on down there, which is great. Um, week 37, am I nesting? I feel like maybe I'm nesting a little bit. Um, I am kind of cleaning and doing things all over the place. Um, but today in particular, you guys, I did just turn 38 weeks on Friday, so it's only, I'm like 38 weeks and two days. I'm very tired today. I feel like I have been hit by a train. I am exhausted and I've been getting decent sleep. I've been having really weird dreams though. Um, but I feel like I've been getting decent sleep. I'm just really, really tired. That's what I would sum up like the like end of week 37 is just exhausted. All right, so moving on to the evening primrose oil. I have continued to take this. Now I've been inserting two every single evening, um, right as I'm going to bed, and that has continued to to do its job. I feel like it's it's doing its, it's a good job down there. Won't get too into it. But I have been continuing to drink my labor and delivery prep tea. I have kicked up my intake for that tea from three to about five cups a day. 
And do I feel like it's making a difference? Yeah, I feel like I'm having maybe a little bit more contractions, but I think that the true test of that tea is to see how well my labor goes this time around. I hear that the red raspberry leaf tea, it shines during labor. So you really see the effects of that tea during your labor. It can decrease the amount of time for labor. Um, it can decrease your pain. Um, it just it really helps with uterine health and strength. So we'll see how that goes. I am retaining so much more fluid this time. I have officially hit my maximum of 30 pounds gained and I think I'll probably hit 35. And really guys, I think that's just me being lazy. I have been doing quite a few like higher sodium meals than I would like to be doing. We did decide to order Home Chef and Blue Apron and HelloFresh. We're just kind of like rotating between the three. Um, so we're rotating between those three um, home like meal service deliveries and they're just like a little bit higher in sodium than meals that I would typically cook at home. Um, I'm trying to cut down on like some of the sauces and like the seasonings and stuff but I can definitely tell I'm starting to retain more water and I'm getting clumsier you guys. I would say clumsiness has been one of my biggest symptoms this week, I just feel really off balance. Um, and I try to wear these really cute like sorrel wedge boots. And every time that I wear them, I end up like falling over. In fact, yesterday I wore them and I fell three times. My poor ankles just kept giving out just three times. Um, baby's movement has decreased a little bit this week. It's more so just like squirming and like moving back and forth. Every once in a while I'll feel a bigger kick, but mostly just squirming. He is floating a little bit higher um, than he was during my 36 week appointment. So he is head down and the doctor did confirm that he has a little bit of hair and he's got his hand right up by his head. I'll see if I can find the ultrasound picture for you guys. Um, but yeah, he's got his hand right up by his head. So when I, when I feel like he's like punching through my cervix, he like, he legit is punching my cervix. <laughs> he is trying to break free, I guess. But Yep, he has a little bit of hair and he is head down, but he is floating just a little bit higher um, than he was at my 36 week appointment. So I've been doing lots of squats and like trying to bounce on my exercise ball to try and really get him um, nice down and low so we can start making progress towards labor and delivery. All right, you guys, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for my 37 week appointment. If you have any questions for me this week, please leave them down below. I really feel like I'm just all over the place and repeating myself, um, but I don't wanna miss anything in these last few weeks um, for myself in the future and for you guys. These are very important weeks, I feel, because baby could make his appearance at any time. So it's really important, I feel like, to to pay attention to the fine-tuned fine details, such as like, how are you feeling? Like, you know, I'm feeling tired, and I get spurts of energy once in a while, and is that nesting, is it not nesting? I don't know, but I like to document everything that I'm feeling so that you guys know what leads up to labor. Alrighty, you guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Be sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos coming out for you guys. I have several planned this week. I've got my three healthy meal prep videos. I will be sharing the nursery tour. I think either this week or next week I have it scheduled. Um, I just have to pick up one more piece for their bedroom, and then it will be quote unquote complete. I was gonna finish up that shiplap wall first, but figured, hey, I'll just show you guys what's going on. It's mostly complete, so that's coming at you this week as well. If you like this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for me, you guys. Follow me on all my socials, and I will see you guys sometime in the very near future, Mama, as in Wednesday. Okay, show. bye guys. Myself. What a wonderful world.